I'm Fatma Sultan and I'm super excited to be here. I'm going to be sharing my everyday skincare as well as recreating my wedding makeup look. So first of all, I'm going to cleanse my skin and I've been loving this Share Moisture um, Daily Hydration Face Milk Cleanser. It's like really, really gentle, really good. Just look at that. Can you see how my skin is glowing already? Huh? Now that I'm done cleansing my face, I'm going to use this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. This was, <laughs> this is actually a test sample, a tester, um, and I was gifted this by asminibeauty.com. So thank you, girl. Just this much is enough. I would have used a toner, but my skin hasn't, like, I don't know my skin has just been doing the most recently so i haven't found something that works for me but ideally i would go for a hydrating toner just because my skin is dry and i need to pack in that moisture as much as i can also if you haven't caught on this isn't really a vogue video but i hope it could be i'm just recreating this because one of my youtube faves aisha harun did this and i love her videos and i thought I'll give it a go. I'm gonna let that serum sink into my skin, so I'm just gonna do some lip balm. Mm -hmm. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Sheer Moisture Daily Hydration Face Lotion. This set I was gifted by Plum Beauty. Thank you so much because my skin has really been loving these products. Um, it's really good, plus, it's made with fair trade ingredients cruelty free you know so much good stuff i'm gonna leave details in the description box below that much and i'm going to massage that into my skin oh did i put too much there's no such thing as too much moisturizer when you have dry skin mm, my skin loves this stuff I've been out in the sun shooting with my sister-in-law Sharon so I was like super sweaty at the beginning of this little video here happy skin the next thing I'm going to do is sunscreen and I've been loving this La Roche-Posay Anthelios 50 plus invisible spray sunscreen it's for face and body I prefer this to the smaller bottle because I feel like the smaller bottle tingles on my skin in a weird way so this is what I'm I just I did like two sprays I'm just gonna apply that onto my skin honestly this is my day-to-day -day skincare like once I'm done with this I'm good if I can just do my basic skincare and my skin looks good and feels good and feels happy and glowy can you see that glow and I'm good. I don't need much. I don't need much. So that's that's it. That's my skincare. I'm done with that. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my skin for makeup. I've really been loving this um, La Roche-Posay Tolerane Ultra Fluid Intense Soothing Fluid for face and eyes. This is what I've been using as a primer. I really like it. I use it for my under eyes. Just get about that much. I use it to prime my under eyes. Because you know, some of the, the great thing about, like if you want your makeup to last longer, sometimes it's necessary to prime. Because if you have a nice skin base, then your makeup is going to apply so beautifully and it's going to stay on your skin so well. I learned this trick from Hindash. Okay, he doesn't he hasn't used this product on his channel, but he often sometimes uses moisturizers, like nice moisturizers as primers on his models. So I wanna do the same. And it works for me. I've done this trick like two, three times before and each time I apply my makeup. It's, it looks amazing. On my wedding, this is the foundation I used. The MAC Studio Sculpt SPF 15 foundation. I really like it. But today, I have a new fave. Okay, that's my fave fave, but it's special because it's MAC. 
so I saved that for special days. Um, but today I'm gonna be using this, the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation this is so good it's so good and my shade is 482 radiant sun and you don't need a lot of this i'm just gonna put a pump on my on my hand first to start with i'm just gonna dot that on my skin just dot it around um also i would color correct but ain't nobody got time for that Plus, I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just literally going to the car and we're going home. This is just special for you guys. So if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit that subscribe button. It's for free. Honestly, okay, I'm going to pause. Just click that subscribe button. Just click it right now, please, please, please. Okay, now we can continue the video gonna use i'm gonna wet my beauty blender and then i'm just gonna blend that in the key to good foundation is blending also because this is not really like a real real vogue video guys <laughs> of course i'm gonna have my mirror my tiny little mirror showing up in the video look at that you see how gorgeous that is it has like a dewy finish just how it's it's described it's like fresh wear 24 hour fresh wear infallible i love this foundation okay so done with my foundation i'm happy with that it's looking good it's looking look at that look at that mm looks like my skin just like with filter you know so the next thing i'm gonna do is concealer i love 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 this revlon photo ready candid concealer um i'm in the shade number 50 i'm just gonna apply that on my under eyes because you guys these bugs <laughs> they need to be chanel or prada or something I'm gonna conceal these spots also remember I'm not really doing anything fancy today so I'm not gonna like beat beat my face like proper it's just just to look pretty for y'all and to feel good for myself I love doing my makeup I love how it makes me feel it just just makes me feel good makes me feel good about myself i just feel like it's me but you know fatma 2.0 i'm gonna leave the concealer just a bit longer because i'm just gonna do my eyeshadow now and i'm a fan of multi like products that i can use products that i can use for several like uses several uses Whichever bronzer I'm gonna be using, that's what I use as my eyeshadow. Oh. On my wedding, I used these two palettes. These are Cara Beauty palettes. And I started off with this bronzed goddess. This is like a bronzer and highlighter kit. And I went for this, the darkest color, but I think I used something else. I just... I just don't know because I, I just I packed a small little toilet bag for this video so I'm just remember I said this is not exactly like my wedding makeup because my wedding makeup I did my own makeup and it took me like close to two hours to finish and I don't have that time so I'm gonna go in for the darkest shade which is coffee and I love this brush because it's like kind of tapered I don't know if you can tell it's a little tapered so what it does is like i can really get kind of like a fake cat eye look and i'm just gonna put that in there oh damn i did something wrong i could have you know what makeup this is how makeup works guys like you just just gonna blend that concealer in I would have used this concealer as my 
eyeshadow primer i'm not really doing anything too fancy so just blend blend away so this eye i think the eye makeup will look better because i'm just gonna a little bit of that concealer on my eyelid if i want to brighten my under eyes a bit more i'm just going to use my um setting powder for that okay so that's the first step i'm just gonna like blend out a bit of this inwards the african heritage house is such a beautiful place and I think it's so important for every Kenyan and everyone who's like passionate about art and architecture and just you know soft life <laughs> it's important for you to come visit this house because it, it has so much history and there's so much you can learn here about art African art especially the, the founder of the house is Alan Donovan and he's just done so much amazing work when it comes to preserving African history. I don't know what it is, but my eyes can be a bit sensitive. So certain products can just make my eyes water. It is a museum, but also recently Alan has um, built an actual museum for the house um, at the like an extension of the house to be an, an actual museum. So yeah, I'm just getting a bit more of that brown because I'm seeing there's a, definitely a difference in how much I've put on this side and the other side. So I just want to kind of even it out. I'm happy with that. And then I'm just going to use a different brush. This brush, as you can see, it already has the... Because this is my go-to look. And I'm just going to go in for this other shade. It's a terracotta shade and mix it a bit with the cocoa okay just a bit of that so for my wedding i i used this palette and i used another palette as well which i don't have with me right now it's just a sephora palette and i went in for one of the dark shades for my kind of like smoky eye look i think i'm gonna blend this a bit more i don't know why i'm doubting myself now but i love makeup i'm gonna put a bit of concealer to like um, elongate my eye and then i'm happy with that honestly i'm happy with that and now i'm gonna go in for one of these shimmer highlighter shades i think i'm going gonna go in for this chocolatey one this it's called radiance just use it on my finger i'm just gonna apply that over the what i did there honestly sometimes like your finger is your best tool for applying eyeshadow at times at least for me i love how much pigment i get on my eyelid when i use my fingers look at that i'm feeling myself I'm feeling my okay so i think I'm going to go in for a bit more gold just because I want a bit more. And look at that. Doesn't that just look... Hmm? I'm just going to blend in a bit of the gold with a brush just to like spread a bit more shimmer onto my lid. I'm just gonna use a bit more of this terracotta because I'm seeing like the glitter, the shimmer shade, like just dulled out the browns. Just gonna add a bit more there. I'm gonna put in some more concealer just to elongate my eye a bit more, like that. And that just 
like that. And I'm gonna use my beauty blender once more. Just carving out that eyeshadow. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bronze my face. Oh, I love how this looks already. I'm gonna, um, and this is the bronzer I've been using. I've been using the Rimmel Maxi Bronzer and it has like three shades, but I just like swirl it in like that to get all the shades. I'm just gonna use this brush cause it's kind of angled and I feel like it really gets into the, you know? So I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna apply that in my cheekbones my cheekbones like here it just warms up the face especially like after using foundation and concealer it's like your face becomes like one one even canvas and this is what I use to kind of contour my face. I've set out to do more makeup content this year. Um, so if you want to work with me, drop me a line. I think that's good. And I'm going to do some down here as well. The Kardashians say you need to do it in a three. You just hear Kim's voice telling me I do my contour in a three. And who's that girl? Needs a bit more blending, but I think I'll what I'll do instead, I'll just use my beauty blender and kinda even it out a little with whatever product is left there. And I'm happy with that. And my blush, I'm gonna use the Cara Beauty Lighting Hour palette and i just pretty much this palette also has blushes and highlighters but i'm only going to use the blushes for now and i'm just going to like dip my brush into all the colors but the one i tend to go for is the middle one so you know blush sometimes it looks a bit much when you start but it really like it's you know what they say about blush it's one of the first things that goes that just disappears when it comes to makeup, so I'm just like, just spreading it out a bit. Dab on top of that. Okay. Plus, you know, when, when, when you're a bride, like you're allowed to just look pink and healthy. You see my, my beauty blender is just blending, <laughs> blending that in and that i'm not really a fan of highlighter that much but i'm still gonna use a bit using my finger i'm just gonna put it up here Okay, and I skipped a step, guys. I skipped a step. I should have set my concealer. So I'm just gonna use this brush, this brush. I'm gonna pick a bit of this product. I love this powder, honestly. It's like changed my makeup game. So I'm just gonna press that in. This is a trick I learned from Shahd Patel just press it in I don't really bake I just press it in it also makes your makeup look just flawless you know it also brightens up the areas you want to be brighter I get a bit scared when I do my makeup and I'm just like oh, what have I done why do I look so different but can you see that who's that girl guys this isn't the same girl who started this tutorial, okay? This video, whatever. I'm in no position to be doing tutorials because my makeup game is not that good, okay? I'm the one who watches tutorials. Okay, that's done. 
And the last step I'm gonna do is lipstick. So I'm just gonna use a red lip liner. Okay, red lip liner. And my current favorite lipstick is this L'Oreal Le Chocolat. So clearly, you guys, L'Oreal is like it for me right now. Hmm. Of course, on my wedding, I try to fill in my brows. Brows are not like my strong suite, okay, suit, strong, whatever. You know, you get what I'm trying to say. Like, brows are not my thing. Plus, I kind of have thick brows, but this, this, this eyebrow is pretty much okay. And this eyebrow has a bit of an empty space there. So what I do is I use this Benefit um, Gimme Brow Gel. And I just brush up my eyebrows. Just brush them up like that. This just gives them a bit more volume and a bit more color. And for my day-to-day -day look, which is what I'm doing kind of like today, but a bit more dramatic, I'm okay with just using this. And then I use an, um, the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil just to fill in whatever areas I feel need some help. So I'm gonna look into my mirror for a bit just so that I can make sure I'm getting this right. That's all I need for my brows. I'm happy with that. And I'm just gonna use the Gimme Brow one more time because I don't have a brow um, setter thing. I'm just gonna use this like that. Okay. And I'm happy with that. Because I'm not really doing like, I don't want this makeup to like last forever. I'm just gonna do a bit of this, but I wouldn't, I don't even want to, to be honest. I don't really want to. So I'm just going to do a bit of this and then I'll do my eyelashes last because sometimes when you do this and then your eyelashes just makes a mess. This makes your skin look just dewy and it's okay to sometimes like just do this. Just to press it in. Guys, the glow. The glow! I love to use an eyelash curler. I never used to see the point of using an eyelash curler but now i do it makes a huge difference this is the mascara i really have been loving right now like you guys when it comes to lashes and brows benefit is the go-to so um i really love this benefit roller lash mascara Pretty much these are the same products I used for my wedding, except what I told you guys, like the MAC foundation was just amazing. Um, and I just used the L'Oreal because I didn't want something too fancy for today. Can you see that difference? Okay, you can barely see it, but... Clearly this girl needs to pick up lashes in 2021. 20, oh, did I say Happy New Year? Happy New Year. And... I'm done. That is my final look. This is similar to what I did to my wedding makeup, just a little different. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and yeah, that's it from me for now. Remember to like this video, to subscribe and to share it with somebody who you love, who you think will enjoy this video. And yeah, thank you so much. Happy New Year. I hope 2020 just brings us closer to our dreams. Lots of love, bye. Successful day! Yay! <laughs> so I need a thumbnail. What am I gonna do for my thumbnail?